going to Mission Santa Barbara to start our 35-mile two-day walk. You may have heard of the movie called The Way, which shares a father's walk on the Camino de Santiago in Spain. But did you know we have an even longer pilgrimage route in the United States? The California Mission Trail is a nearly 800-mile walking trail that traces the route of St. Junipero Serra and spans the length of all 21 California missions from San Diego to Sonoma. On August 12th and 13th, 2023, we joined nearly 275 pilgrims to walk a 35 mile stretch of the California Mission Trail. After attending mass early Saturday morning, the bells tolled and the group began its walk into the beautiful coastal city of Santa Barbara, California. We connect to the founders of so many California cities and church communities by tracing the footsteps along El Camino Real, the Royal Road. The journey took us through beautiful surroundings accompanied by prayer, singing, camaraderie, and time with friars, priests, and sisters who joined in the walk. This year, we were moved by moments of inspiration. We were inspired by people who came from other states to join this year's walk. Some pilgrims traveled from the East Coast, others from Southern states to join this pilgrimage event. We were inspired by the people we met along the way who would ask where we were going to a person, they supported and encouraged our journey. We took time to stop and chat and offer to take any personal prayers with us to the Mission Basilica San Buenaventura. So there was a, a lady who, and I didn't get her name, but she is a full-time traveler, full-time RVer with her mother because her, her father and her husband have just recently passed away and now they're full-time RVing. So her intention, I asked her if she wanted me to take a prayer intention with her and she said, yes, please pray, pray for um, my father and my husband who are both named Richard. We were inspired by the dedication of the support crew who transported our camping gear, showed up at stops along the way with hydration and snacks and was there for anyone needing assistance. We were inspired by those who refused to let physical challenges stop their pilgrimage experience. A friend joined for part of the journey who does not have the gift of sight. One of the walkers we encountered was going on this walk after undergoing hip replacement surgery. We were inspired to hear of the progress of Father Corwin's mission just last year he was asked to bring the message of the church to corporate America. One year later, he is scheduled to begin celebrating mass monthly at some of the biggest corporate offices in America. Great things always start with a vision and dedication and faith. We logged nearly 18 miles on day one, stopping to camp overnight in Carpinteria. In the evening, the pilgrims enjoyed dinner, a holy hour with Eucharistic adoration and confession. When the sun rose on Sunday morning, we broke camp and had breakfast. Before setting off on the next 17 mile segment, we were moved by the inspiring words of Father Nathan Cromley, who always reminds us how the unlikely simple friar, Junipero Serra, cast a ripple in California that set the foundation for so many communities along El Camino Real. He had a wounded leg, he got a bug bite in his leg that never healed. So he was limping for 40 years of his life for 27,000 miles of footsteps because he couldn't ride a horse. Sleeping with soldiers that are posted who didn't even necessarily believe or didn't even really practice their faith or even doing bad things at times. 
He's, he's far from home fighting for a church where, of which he is the sole representative. He and the Franciscans, there they are. It's not even like they can pick up the phone and call for support. Like they have to make it happen where they are. Plant the cross of Jesus here. The, the, you could see like in many ways he could have just gone into neutrality. Someone else will plant the cross of Christ. Maybe this will happen. Maybe it won't. And I'll just be neutral. If he was neutral, we wouldn't be here. Through faith comes hope that flourishes in love. Sunday's walk took us through Carpinteria State Beach, Tar Pits Park, and the Seal Sanctuary. We passed by beautiful ocean views on the way to Rincon State Beach, La Conchita, and Muscle Shoals. We were inspired by the presence of St. Junipero Serra. This year, the saint was with us in the presence of a first-class relic. We were inspired by our fellow pilgrims. We were amazed at the young children of the group who kept up just as well if not better than many of the adults. Others who joined the walk did so in their 70s and 80s. We look to them with a the hope that we too can be as active in our future years and still participate in events like this. We take encouragement by realizing we can do things like this as we enter our 60s. Sure, there has been knee issues and a variety of physical obstacles through the years, but we keep going. We were inspired by Greg Wood's vision, who thought of this pilgrimage event after the city of Ventura removed the statue of the city's founder. Five years later, the pilgrimage is a reality in its third year and attracting more participants every year. The city of Ventura can take away a statue, but it's impossible for them to extinguish the love of the church and St. Junipero Serra among the faithful. After completing nearly 34 miles, the group strengthened for the final stretch and glorious procession from Emma Wood State Beach to the Mission Basilica San Buenaventura. The final few miles are the hardest push, but when the joyous music and singing began, any pain and discomfort vanished as our sights were set on reaching Basilica San Buenaventura. into the Mission Plaza, we heard the sound of the Mission Bells and the enthusiasm of waiting parishioners to encourage us on our final steps. We were greeted by Father Tom Elowat, who invited us into the church. Accompanied by the church pipe organ and wafts of incense, Father Tom gave the pilgrims a Eucharistic blessing. Together, we celebrated Mass Sunday evening before enjoying a celebratory dinner. 35 miles is a lot for the body, legs, and feet. It is challenging, but this is a pilgrimage and we can always offer up our suffering. We were personally inspired by the many people who told us they watched our video of the event last year and decided to join this year's pilgrimage. We hope our videos from the places where we go are informative, helpful, and inspiring. And if you'd like to join next year's walk, be sure to watch the website at www.stsarahpilgrimage.org. We'll leave a link in the video description. We hope to see you next year at the fourth annual St. Junipero Cerro Walking Pilgrimage.